Hello everyone out there, my name is Jose Pasillas II. I um, play drums for the band Incubus, and I play Vader Sticks, yay. This is a recent change for me and I found that Vader sticks work really well in my hands. So it's been a great marriage and I've been able to find the right stick for me and it has improved my plane by at least 15%, maybe 10, somewhere in there. No, just kidding. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so Vader sticks are great. I uh, found exactly what I need and uh, I hope that it'll be a, a long relationship. I'd say my top few drumming idols would be Stuart Copeland from The Police, George Hurley from the band Firehose, a little, not Firehouse, Firehose, a little punk band from San Pedro. Uh, I'm a big Buddy Rich fan, uh, like most drummers are. John Bonham, of course, Classic Rock, Led Zeppelin. Those are kind of the ones that shaped my drumming. Tim Alexander from the band Primus was another big influence. I'm not quite sure when I realized that drumming was the instrument for me. I think it sort of over time just became apparent from old videos of me playing air drums to Purple Rain and whatever music, my other music my parents were listening to at the time, to just always being able to sort of figure out drum beats from music um, that I listened to and being able to distinguish the parts before I was even playing drums. So I think just it was a natural instrument for me to uh, go to and yeah, it just sort of became apparent when I was about 13, 14, 15 years old that that was the thing I should be doing. So as everyone knows, the music industry has changed dramatically over the past eight or nine years, dramatically, actually. And it's sort of been good and bad. I think bad in the sense that there's no record labels who look for bands to sort of develop anymore. We were sort of one of the last bands to, to have that kind of record deal where they were a fan of what we were doing, and even though we were young, they sort of wanted us to grow as a band and as individuals, and didn't necessarily want a very popular record right off the bat or a popular song, and let us develop into what we are today. So there's not that much of that going on in the music industry today, but, um, you know, we're just sort of developing and evolving as the music industry is, and, um, we have a record that will come out without a label the next time around. And I'm not exactly sure if it'll be independent, if we'll have our own label, but we'll sort of figure, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But we're just, you know, evolving with, you know, with the times. And um, so far it's been good to us. So, you know, we'll see what the future holds for us, but I, I think it's gonna be very positive and I'm excited for it. Being self-taught, I think, for me, has been mostly good. I do wish that I had more of a grasp on certain things, like rudiments. I love snare cadences, I love drum lines, so that's one thing I didn't grow up doing, which I really 
sort of miss. That's kind of my only regret is not <clears throat> doing that. I love playing the snare drum and kind of go back and practice that now. But I think, you know, being self-taught wasn't a bad thing because I listened to every sort of genre of music and watched and studied every sort of drummer out there. So those were my teachers, which were the best teachers I could have had, I guess. So I think, I think it was a good thing. And the music that we play in my band is very open and, and I'm able to explore and play many different styles in one group. So I think it's been a really, I think it was the thing for me. And being in this band was just um, the way it was supposed to be. If I could be in any other band, I would love to play in The Police. I'd love to, I'd love to be Stuart Copeland for a couple of shows. Yeah. My stick sort of came about, well, just through, I, I don't know exactly how I came to it, but just experimenting with different sticks. I knew that I wanted a sort of a skinnier, lighter stick, so I'm a little bit longer. I'm a little bit on the thinner side. I didn't want to lose length. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of the B-tip, uh, of the round tip stick, so just really experimenting with different sticks and kind of figuring out what works for me. So for any drummer out there, just really playing different sticks, seeing what works well, and actually playing for a long period of time or in an actual show will probably, probably be your best bet in honing in on what you'd like to play. That's what worked for me. Art of Drums will be released probably this fall, November, I would say. I'm very excited about it. We have some very, very cool pieces. As far as my own artwork and canvases and painting, that will be probably displayed sometime in the near future as well, hopefully by the end of this year, if not by the top of uh, 2013. So thank you for joining me. Um, check out... Um, Vader Sticks at Vader.com and yeah, check me out. Google me. I don't have a site yet for my artwork, but I will soon. So thanks for checking me out and we'll talk soon.